done, but you're going to be absolutely pinpoint. This Lampard again with a nice little nutmeg on Crenshaw. For Singwa. James in trouble, and Deco arrived. Balak was there, and it's been bundled in, and it's 2 0. Portsmouth all over the place. I think Ganelf is going to claim it. And uh, that is only his second for Chelsea in his 15th appearance. Deco. Once again, he was second favourite and still got the ball away to a colleague. Joe Cole now looking for Anelka to wrap it up. Brilliant. Superb goal from Chelsea. Surely they're out of sight at 3-1. And when he times that run like that, and he starts off level with Richard Dunn there, there's no way Dunn can catch him. And we know that Anelka's a world-class finisher. He showed it at Arsenal, he showed it at Real Madrid, and Liverpool, and here at City, and for the French national team. cross it's fallen to Anelka and there's the goal surely the goal that wraps up the three points and certainly one that'll be excellent for the confidence of Nicholas Anelka well he will be knocking on the manager's door I'm sure there it is the low drive past Sorensen which surely puts this game out of the reach of Stoke City lovely pass to Maluda on for Lampard who just stayed on side Barry's a defender, on for Ashley Cole, pulled back for Balak! Oh, and saved twice, and Elka, yes! it's three! Third time lucky, and Chelsea lead by two goals to nil. And Nicholas Anelka, well, he could hardly miss on that occasion, his fifth of the season. Malouda's playing very well, knocked in Ashley Cole via Frank Lampard. Good ball pulled back, and um, Anelka had three fights to the cherry, as I said, third time lucky, into the back of the net, much deserved, and we go into half-time much more comfortable than we would have done at one, obviously. It's been a position that was very much up for grabs pre-season, him and Essien seem to be certainly the ones that were challenging, but in Essien's absence, he's made that position his own. Hesitation here. Yes, because Myhill had to wait for it. Brilliant, and now for that is superb. Myhill came, he knew he couldn't touch it as the ball held up. And you don't mess about with an Elka in town. 2 0, 40 minutes to see it off. I tell you what, let's give let's give an Elka some credit here. You know, he did not give that up and for you know, seconds of that, it looked a, a lost cause. He's the one that has decided, I will make this my own. And you could see just, I think I said hesitation, and he was the one that recognised that wonderful goal from an echo. Great recognition of what was, in, in what, to be honest, should never have been allowed to happen, but he's made that goal his own. John Terry's still up there. And Terry will gather here. He's done really well there, the Chelsea skipper. Deco. Chelsea doing their best to pour all over Sunderland, that is happening, that's Lampard's cross, it must be and is a second. It can't have been Alex again, can it? Well, Anelka is claiming it. <laughs> Alex might have got a touch too, it doesn't really matter. In just, what, three minutes, Chelsea has scored two from all of one foot out. Well, if Anelka had left it, it would have gone in. And I, I take your point completely, Alex was onside, Anelka was off. He shouldn't really have touched it, it doesn't matter. Sunderland are in serious trouble now. Oh, took a bit of a whack there from Tim Bonner. He's on the ball again here, though. Into Lampard. Oh. Lovely ball for Maluda. And a nail cut oh, and God. three. What a wonderfully worked goal right on the break. Anelka has two, he couldn't have missed either of them, Chelsea have three and that's game well, over. Frank Lampard, I mean we talked about him earlier, what a ball this is from Lamps, it's unbelievable. It's a great little square ball, Maluda plays his part as well, great unselfish play, could have finished it, didn't. And uh, what a great move and uh, Anelka again, two goals from what a foot and uh, that will certainly add to his tally and his, uh, his averages. It's a chance to really fill the boots here, it was six against Derby wasn't it last season and the promise of more to come here. There's a Nelka for the hat trick, and it's in. He's got the hat trick. It's five for Chelsea. There are 52 and a half minutes gone, and this is getting embarrassing for Sunderland. Good hat trick from Nicholas and Elka. I think if you added the distance up between the three shots, it's probably about three yards. Amazing hat trick, really. He scored and uh, typical sniffers.
Here's Anelka, he's onside this time, he's in behind Mite. Anelka to make it two, and he rolls it into the net. Cool as you like. And Chelsea have doubled their advantage. West Brom's resistance is broken. Anelka has his 11th of the season. Coolly done as well. And Chelsea have some breathing space between them and West Brom. That's a Lily hat trick against Sunderland, two against Blackburn. And now a goal here at the Hawthorns. Kalu. Good turn of pace. Oh. Nicely played through to Anelka again. In on a goal! Oh. He squeezed it in at the near post. And again, that would have to go down as a Scott Carson goalkeeping error, but take nothing away from Nicholas Anelka, who's absolutely on fire at the moment. It's his second of the game. It's 3 0 Chelsea. And you have to say, even at the halfway point, game over. We've got the pass away to Basingwa. Oh, Anelka! And the goal will count. He was onside. It just had to happen, didn't it? Against his old team. 15 for the season. And Chelsea ahead here inside 10 minutes. I think this is a terrific finish. He's stretching every sinew in his body to get onto the end of this header. But enough power on the header to put it in the back of that. Not surprised, it's Nicholas Anelka. So often he produces when it matters, Rob, but that's his flick there to Lampard. And now Anelka! There's the yes. equaliser! Well, it took no time at all. And the Premier League's top scorer has another. Well, I've got to say, it's a great bit of play, great little one, two laps, plays it. Didier Drogba just feeds the ball over to the uh, oncoming uh, defender here. Nicholas Anelka lets it bounce. I was a little bit worried they'd left it too long. It was a great little finish pass, Robert Green. Here we go. If they've already taken. There's good tempo about the game as well. And, you know, it's nice both sides are trying to get the ball down and, and keep it sort of going very, very quickly. I think Chelsea, maybe in the past, have, have tried to kill games off in the early stages. Nice turn that by Lampard, in towards Anelka, brilliantly done. Superb goal from Chelsea. And the Premier League's leading marksman has broken the deadlock. Footwork by Frank Lampard, different class. And Anelka to the ball first. What a finish this is by Anelka. That Christmas and New Year wobble, of course, is really the reason why Chelsea aren't in the title shake-up at this precise moment in time. But here they come with Maluda and Drogba for Anelka. Oh, what a start! That is sensational. That is awesome. The two of them awesome. up top from the start, and it's taken 50 seconds for a brilliant opening goal. Well, that is absolutely incredible. One, two touch football, completely carved open Fulham and Nicholas Anelka. In that position, Ben, he just doesn't miss. Anelka, lovely turn away from Nazri. And going for oh! it! Oh, what a goal! Oh, Nicholas Anelka against his old club with an absolute rocket. Goal number 23 for the season. 2 0 to Chelsea in real style. This is Nicholas Anelka at his best. Turning, running at defenders, showing all his pace. And what a finish at the end of it. Fabianski, no chance to swerve on it, beat him. Great strike from fully 20 yards. And as I said, Arsenal just feeling their way back into the game after that shock of Alex's goal. Now find themselves 2 0 down. Still only 1 0. It's hard to believe. Essien. Mikel, Lampard, space far side for Ashley Cole, Maluda is waiting in the centre, he missed it, this is Jogba teeing up and Elke! Yes! Well that's a beautiful finish and that is his 18th Premier League goal of the season. He's level at the top of the goal scoring charts now with Ronaldo and Chelsea finally have their second goal thoroughly merited. That's a great strike into the corner. Robinson again, no chance. And Nicholas gets his rewards for making the first one. A couple of great crosses into the box. On that occasion, he scores himself. Hacked away in the end, and Anelka is on the end of it. He's done well here. He's got to open up oh, for the shot. Oh, what a goal that is! Nicholas Anelka has been waiting all game for a chance to take the Premier League golden boot. He's one ahead of Ronaldo now. He has smashed that into the top corner.
Well, reverse that goal of the season because this might have got it. I've got to tell you, he picks the ball up in, the, in our own half here, runs at the back four. He does Tainio twice with just a body swerve, but the finish was unbelievable. I mean, top corner. 19 for the season.